What's going on everybody? My name is AJ Festa. I'm a filmmaker and photographer based in Orlando, Florida. Uh, this is my first ever YouTube video and today I'm going to be breaking down what's in my first AC case as a camera assistant. All right, so to start everything off with the actual case, this is a Pelican 1510 case. Um, I have Trek pack dividers, but these are custom. I made these myself DIY at home. Uh, I think it turned out really good. Normal Trek pack dividers for the 1510 usually cost about $150 and I made this for $40. So definitely worth it to do it by yourself. Took a, lot, a good bit of time, but definitely worth it. All right, so starting with the bottom left of the case, we have my Nucleus M Follow Focus Fizz Unit. This is my workhorse. I use this on every uh, first AC job that I get. It currently has the rosette adapter on it, which doesn't come with it. All right, that just fits in right there. And moving on right next to it, I have a uh, shout out to Jesse, the focus puller on Instagram for this awesome idea of how to make this rig. It is a V-mount adapter with the Tilta monitor mount to handle mount adapter. And I also have a D-tap splitter attached to it. All right, right underneath that as well, we have the small rig wooden rosette mount handle. This is what I use on the side of my follow focus kit. It's a great handle, super comfortable for long days on set, and I love it. That'll just fit back in like this. Right next to that, we've got all of my spare batteries. Uh, I've got about eight of these 18650 batteries for the Nucleus M. Uh, you know, they're really great on battery, but having extras definitely helps for long days on set or if you have a multiple day shoot and don't have the chance to charge batteries. Uh, definitely good to get a couple of these. Moving along to right next to the batteries, we have my spare focus rings. I've got three of these in there. Uh, this is my Condor Blue quick release for monitors, Teradek units, uh, whatever you want a quick release attach onto your systems. I also have a cheese plate on here as well. This is a small cheese plate if I need to attach to a camera to add anything like a Teradex or whatnot as well. I've got a spare quarter 20 baby pin adapter on here as well. Uh, just always good to have those. Next up is the motors. I have two out of three of the motors for the Nucleus M system. Motor number one is my focus motor sitting right here. These things are great. And right next to that, I have motor number two, which is either iris or zoom, depending on which job I'm on. Moving on to the middle section of the case, I have my monitor of choice, which is the Atomos Shinobi 5-inch SDI version. Uh, I currently have the battery eliminator on the back from Atomos as well. This monitor is great um, for the price, you can't beat it. Atomos gives you so many uh, features in this monitor for the price. Um, I mainly use the SDI as I work with Teradek units usually. I do plan hopefully soon to be able to get a small HD 503 ultra bright. Uh, that monitor is amazing and always like using it when I'm on set. Right next to the monitor is my V-mount battery. Right now I just use a Power Extra BP95 battery. Uh, these things are great for the price. They're only 100 bucks for this battery. I do plan on soon getting a either Came TV or a Moment 99 Mini uh, V-mount battery. I love the size of those things and every time I see them on set, they look awesome. Moving right along, we have this silver pouch right here, and this is where I keep camera rigging stuff. So magic arms, clamps, extra cheese plates, anything that you need extra to help rig some stuff on cameras, this is where I keep it. All right, so next up we have some Allen keys. These are a couple different sizes, but they are the T-shape, which really help on set, um, getting into the areas you can't use a short one. Um, these things are great. Never had a problem with uh, the quality of these. Don't know where I got them though. Right behind that, we have this bag right here, which is from an old uh, shotgun microphone, like mini shotgun microphone that I got. But inside I keep tons of camera screws, tripod screws, um, Allen, extra Allen keys just in case. Uh, one, you know, you need to hand one to somebody who needs to keep it, whatever. Got a ton of just little parts and screws and whatnot in here. Always good to have. Right in front of that, I have a wooden camera notebook that they sent me in a care package. So thank you, wooden camera, for sending that out. Great on set if you need to keep track of your apertures, of your uh, distance, height distances, distance from camera, whatever notes you need to take, great to have that on set. 
To go along with that notebook, we have a pack of the Lumacolor non-permanent markers. These things are great for notebooks and also making focus marks on your focus wheels. Uh, I've got the red, blue, green, and black. Great set to have, super cheap, and always need them. We're gonna now move on to the top level of the case. This is the last kind of section of it. Uh, starting off, we have a rocket blower. As the first AC, you always need this on set, clean lenses. Um, it's pretty much essential to have. All right, in that same area of the case, we have tape measure. Again, as the first AC, you always need to have a tape measure to make some, um, some measurements of where the camera's at or how far um, the actor is from the camera or what have you, always essential to have. Back in that same section, we have just a cheap uh, headlamp. I keep a good one in my backpack, but I always keep a backup in the case, just in case you need to add night light up the case, or you need to hand it to somebody as they don't have one. Just this nice cheap $1 one from Walmart, definitely a must. Now towards the bottom of that same section, we have the right hand grip for the Nucleus follow focus system. This is the zoom and focus one. Uh, this thing is cool. If any DPs needed on set just to be able to control their own zoom or you have some of your own camera rig that you want to use to be able to control focus and zoom or iris what have you definitely a good thing to have now I won't go into too much detail on what's in the bottom of that section because it's all the rest of the parts for the nucleus hand grips to be able to attach them to gimbals or 50 millimeter rods um, and then I have just the, an extra focus gear just in case you have a lens that doesn't have a focus gear on it Okay, moving on to the last section of the case, we start with an insert slate. It's always good to have this for any tight shots that you need. You never know when you're gonna need this. Right next to the insert slate, we actually have a Prism Lens FX cleaning cloth. Just an extra one to have around in case you need it. All right, so as a first AC, we always pride ourselves in making clean camera builds whenever we rig out cameras for shoots. Um, one thing to do that is having a bunch of cable ties. Um, these are from a buddy of mine who made them. Uh, they're great. Always, like, I've got a ton of them and you always need these on set. Something else I keep in my case for fun is some personal stickers that I made, which is Anti-Filming Filming Club. I don't know if you've ever heard of the Anti-Social Social Club, but this is just a fun little take on that that I hand out to people on set um, who kind of laugh at the joke. Another reason why I like to hand these out on set is just to get your name out there. You hand it to somebody, they put it on their case or their cart, uh, somebody else is going to ask about that sticker and refer you to them um, for future jobs. Last but not least, we have these three bags in the case, which are for all my cables. This first one has all of my power cables, whether that's D-tap to DC, D-tap to two pin, um, D-tap splitters, you know, any, anything power. I have an extra uh, NPF dummy battery in here. Anything like that stays in the power. The second bag that I have in here is for my video cables. This is HDMI and SDI cables, whether it's for my rig, on-camera monitors, Teradex, whatever it is, video cables are in here. The last bag that is in my case is for all of my Nucleus power cables. This is for the seven pin Limo to D-Tap. This is seven pin Limo to seven pin Limo for jumpers. There's also a couple run stop cables in there for different cameras to be able to hit record wirelessly from my focus unit. Something to add is I actually got these bags at Marshall's. Um, they were, for the three bags, it was like six bucks. It was a great deal and definitely, definitely helpful. One thing I would like to add when you're going to make your case, throw an air tag at the bottom of the case because people walk off with things on set and you don't want your case with all of your nice equipment being taken elsewhere. So that way, if anything happens, you can track it. I want to give a shout out to my boy Justin Porter for giving me the idea to do a breakdown of my case. He just did a great video about what's in his wedding filmmaking kit, uh, Pelican. Definitely go watch his video, I'll leave it down in the description. Alright everybody, so that's what's in my first AC Pelican um, for this year of 2022. If you have any future video ideas for me for this channel, please leave them in the comments below. Make sure to also leave a like and subscribe, I'm really trying to grow this channel and I hope you guys like the content that I'm going to put out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm going to leave my Instagram in the description as well. Go give that a follow and see the content I make over there as well. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you liked it and I hope you like what this channel has to come. Uh, I've got a lot of things planned and I can't wait to share that with you guys.